Thousands gathered Sunday morning in southern Iran for the funeral of the general killed in a US drone strike. Mourners wept as a truck carried Qasem Soleimani's body through the streets of Arvaz. Feelings were running high in the capital too. In Tehran, lawmakers chanted death to America in a session to discuss the killing. And they echoed their government's message to Washington. You ought to know that this adventure will bring painful consequences for you. Now world capitals wait anxiously to see how Iran will respond. Many have called on both sides to calm the rhetoric. But Donald Trump doesn't appear to be listening. In a series of tweets, the US president vowed to hit 52 sites if Iran retaliates. He says the number represents the 52 Americans held hostage at the US embassy in Tehran in 1979. The question is whether Iran will heed the warning. Soleimani was widely seen as the second most powerful man in the country. A high-profile figure, he was also the architect of Iran's overseas clandestine operations. Supreme leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei has promised a harsh revenge for his killing. While many Iranians mourn the general, many too will be wondering if their country is on the brink of war.